Hi, I'm Lewis with IT Retail. Today I'll be walking you through setting up your point of sale hardware. The first device we'll be setting up will be the scanner scale. Go ahead and remove the platter. Next you'll get the scanner scale onto its side to expose the power and POS terminal ports. Plug in your power cable and your RJ45 end of the scanner scale cable will go in there next to the power. Once those cables are plugged in, go ahead and set the scanner scale in place. Make sure that it sits flush. At this time, we're not going to power on any devices, so make sure your scanner scale is unplugged and it, you ha do have the power brick. Go ahead and put the platter back onto the scanner scale and make sure that it's also flush. The next device we'll set up will be the cash drawer. Go ahead and flip the cash drawer over and get your cash drawer cable and the bigger connector will be the RJ45 connector. Go ahead and plug that end into the bottom of the cash drawer. Once it's plugged in, flip your cash drawer over and make sure the cable is in position to plug in once the printer is ready to be set up. Next we're going to have Izzy help us set up the printer. You're going to want to face the printer towards you, press the button to open it up um, to, so that we can install the paper. Install the paper exactly like we're doing it on the video. Okay, go, go ahead and close it and then we're going to put it on the front side there so that we can expose the back which is the USB power and then the cash drawer cables over there to the left. Once those are all plugged in, put your printer in place and then get your POSX system. Um, you're going to hold firmly on the bottom as you press up so that you can expose the bottom or the back of the POSX system and then remove all of the back plates and here's all of the ports that we're going to plug our cables into. So all the cables you're going to want to run through the base into that hole and then go ahead and start plugging your cables in like your ethernet um, next will be the printer USB cable and then we'll plug in the scanner scale cable on this side it's a USB so this one plugs right into the uh, POSX system into a USB port and then this is the power for the POSX system go ahead and plug that in next the last cable will be the VGA cable and you go ahead and plug that in securely. That's for the customer display. We'll have another video sh um, showing you how to install the customer display as well. Once you have all of the cables plugged in, um, try to get them all together to one end because next we're going to go ahead and plug in the, um, the pin pad and with the pin pad it has an extra power cable. so it's best if we install that last. So for the VX805 we're going to need a small Phillips screwdriver. You're going to flip the pin pad over, unscrew the back. Um, now you'll see that there's two of those little connectors. You're going to want to connect it into the second one. So go ahead and make sure it's in there securely. Place the cover back on and then use your screwdriver to secure the screw back on. Um, and that's the installing the VX805 cable. Um, if you did purchase an ISC250, um, you, you will not need a screwdriver for this. You just need to get the cable. Make sure that the little handles there is open when you plug it in and then once it's in, go ahead and secure that in. Um, for either pin pad, you're going to run your cables under there. Um, like I said, it's best to do the pin pad last because it has those, these two extra cables and it's a little bit easier to run this way. Uh, once that's plugged in, you're all set and then you're just going to go ahead and plug in all your devices now, make sure they're all powered on, turn on your POSX system and you're ready to go to start using IT Retail. Thank you very much for watching this video.